Sierra, the women that he's dating or spending time with, they're all of age and they all need to be held accountable for what they decide to do. Let's don't miss that. Even the ones in the mm-hmm. US, if we decide to give ourselves to men, then we just decide to do so. And we have to be accountable for that. So we can't hold this man responsible for that part. Right. But again, we're talking about me. I'm talking about adding value back into women and us making different decisions. So maybe that should be a different conversation to the women that are involving themselves instead of asking him, why is he doing this? But I'm gonna let Austin go ahead and answer that question from his point of view. Um, so I want to say, number one, I'm not a tourist. I'm not going back to the United States. So I'm not pushing any sort of tourism. If you've watched enough of my videos, you hear me say, leave the United States permanently. So I'm not encouraging men to go sleep with some to- uh, gringo hunter for five days and then go back. So that's not even what my channel is about. Number one, the most obvious benefit of being in Brazil dating versus in the United States is women do not hesitate coming back home with you. It, 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 it is unbelievably easier to get. There's, there, if you're in Brazil and you had, and you have not had intercourse in a long time, I'm sorry to tell you as a man, that's more than likely your fault. It's got to be something wrong with you. The women here do not weaponize it against you like they would in the States. Meanwhile, in the States, y'all have blue balls and y'all are over here, uh, you know, offing yourselves and uh, depressed, uh, doing school massacres. And that, that, that could all be more than likely if women, if dudes would get what they wanted, you know, that could be different. But sorry to tell you, in the States, y'all not. But in Brazil, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. That's number one. I think I'm leading by example. I'm not going back. Okay, I understand. Now, you stay in certain amount of days in Thailand and then going to Philippines and then going to another country. So that's tourism. <laughs> Got it. <he>. Got it. <he. laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, expats is someone that stays for a longer period of time and works in a place. That's the way I see it. As I work. Yeah, that, 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 that place was Brazil. And if you go look at my community posts, I was still living in Brazil and I was going to bring content from at least 11 countries um, while I still had a place in Brazil. But since this happened, now I'm just going to jump around and uh, do content. And then whenever I get through going to my places, then I'll find somewhere to live again because I was I wanted to live in Brazil. Mm-hmm. OK, so let me let me put it this way. I am not hating on passport bros. <laughs> Please, I'm, I'm making that clear. I'm not. But I am lo- and I'm not American. I'm not in the United States. I don't have that culture. I am someone outside looking at it from the outside how this could affect other cultures, how the behavior of men traveling and just dating women, not doing anything else because they're not getting married. They're just dating women, which is fine. I'm saying it's fine, but this is creating, spreading American culture to these other cultures. I'm just trying to protect and just like me security boss is doing it for the American women. I want other women outside of the United States to understand that if what you really want is to get married, take care of themselves from men that come to these countries with the intention that have a good time, date, but not marry. Because at the end of the day, we want to get married too. And I'm not not for papers, not for none of these things. It's just what women want. And I'm not saying you, but remember, and the, the why, that's why I ask you, it could have a positive impact or a negative. Why? Because you may have your goals clear, which I respect, but there is men out there that are listening that will interpret your words in a different way. Like there's men that are saying, oh, I can, I think I heard you clarifying this on a video specifically saying, 
oh, don't think that just because you're American, you're going to be treated as a celebrity. No, you have to work on yourself. And, and I think you did. And I was like, I'm glad that he's saying that because it requires effort from you to be who you are, to be able to present yourself on other cultures. Because not just because you're American, they're going to accept you just like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm I got saying that. Let me add this little piece before we go on. Um, this is, a, it has been Passport Bros, I think we said since 1960. Well before both of y'all will even thought about. Um, so it's nothing new for a young woman from another country to date an American man. So it's not like it's a new project. Um, there, but we are seeing it now because of the access, meaning YouTube and you know Instagram and things of that nature. So we're, they're letting us into their life. But if you really got a message for your women that you want them to preserve themselves and you know be careful with that, we got to talk to the women. Men are going to be men. They're going to do what they want to do. Um, so we really do have to talk to the men. And he's going to tell you again too. I know. But as far as the situation in Brazil, it seems like it was made up. Number one, the most obvious benefit of being in Brazil dating versus in the United States is women do not hesitate coming back home with you. It, 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 it is unbelievably easier. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> And if someone makes up something on you that is negative, then that's that's what it is. It's negative. So he's got to fight that. You know, he can't just embrace it and be like, this is what happened. He's going to fight that. And then hopefully the whole message of who he is will be turned around and they'll see exactly the kind of man that he is. It's not on me that your hormone had a defect. My hormones worked when they were supposed to. Whenever I was 16, I had, I think, the highest sex drive I had ever had. I now, let's back up to six. Were, now, let's like, back up to six. Let's talk about your hormones at six years old when you were watching <laughs> at six. Let's back up to that one. Y'all, he said it's normal for a boy to be watching <laughs> and fetishizing Brazilian women at six. Yeah, grown Brazilian women. Did you just hear him say, yeah, grown Brazilian women? So he's saying, he's t saying that, yeah, a six-year-old should have those hormonal oh. thoughts to get there, there's there if you're in brazil and you had and you have not had intercourse in a long time i'm sorry to tell you as a man that's more than likely your fault it's got to be something wrong with you the women here do not weaponize it against you like they would in the states meanwhile in the states y'all have blue balls and y'all are over here uh you know offing yourselves and <laughs> 